Hi folks, Lionel here. Two questions for you today. Number one, what is your number one channel, digital or otherwise, to recruit truck drivers? And number two, what would you do if that channel went away overnight? So I've got a story for you here. I know of a, a company in the truck driving space and one of their main challenges, like pretty well every trucking company, is hiring good people. Now, thankfully they have access to a number of different recruitment channels, but one of their most popular is Indeed. Like a lot of you watching this, again, Indeed is just a bohemian in the recruitment space. They've really taken over and it's a great uh, way to access you know, hundreds and thousands of uh, candidates uh, for your business. Anyway, so let me tell you the story. So early morning, all of a sudden, hundreds of emails start coming in. These emails were all signups for e-newsletters. So basically someone, these hackers, were signing up this company for a whole bunch of online e email newsletters. Somewhere in those hundreds of emails that came in there would have been an email that helped these hackers compromise the the uh, company and actually access uh, th their email and ultimately the indeed account within probably an hour or two and, and these emails were still coming in all of a sudden there's no access to indeed you know very shortly after uh, this company starts getting messages in Facebook Messenger people asking if this work from home opportunity is legitimate or not of course you can imagine this trucking company is pretty surprised to know about these work from home opportunities all over the place in Canada and the, and the US. Obviously they didn't uh, place them. So, you know, they were surprised and like, what what are you talking about? And then they were able to find out, even though they couldn't get into Indeed, they were able to find the job postings uh, online uh, through Indeed. Uh, short story there, there was uh, about a $2,000 ad spend within a couple hours. And basically these hackers were reaching out to people uh, and actually asking them to apply. And I'm sure they were looking for those people's personal information, which is uh, pretty scary. And, and even scarier, actually, when we uh, talking about the types of people that were, were uh, being reached out to, these were all young females as well. So who knows what was ultimately actual scam behind uh, the hackers' uh, motives here. But anyway, it, this is a quite a, a common um, hack, unfortunately. And, and hackers are like squirrels. They've got nothing but uh, time to be able to try and, uh, and and get into your house, right? So definitely, uh, again, it was a really uh, terrible situation. So I will say from uh, you know my understanding of the situation, Indeed was super fast to react once uh, this company was able to contact the rep at Indeed. So basically they suspended the account, cut off all of the billing. From my understanding, they, they refund uh, payments right, right away. So again, they, they did everything they could and, and this isn't their fault. Again, there's just all of these hackers, you know, with nothing better to do but to, to try and disrupt our business businesses, right, and, and get people's information. At this point, the account was suspended and the company no longer had any applications coming in from Indeed, which again was one of their, their top channels. Basically, you know, it sounds like in order to get this account uh, back and have access and security in place, it's already been over a, a month to resolve it and it could be upwards of, of two months, you know, until everything is all sorted out. So uh, imagine if you're one of those companies, again, thankfully this company isn't uh, in, in this boat, but imagine if you're one of those companies that don't really understand what channels are working and you just spend tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in Indeed because that's the only thing you're able to get some uh, traction on and all of a sudden like that someone hacks it and you're on the outside looking in. So that definitely is not a great uh, situation to, to be in. So I just want to be able to share that story just to be able to give you some context of things that actually do happen and, and since I've heard of this situation I've actually come across many other cases of it as well and, and basically the story is, is is exactly the same. I just want to share a couple of thoughts and, and lessons, you know, to, to help uh, avoid these situations in, in the future here. So my first thought as we're getting into this is I'm talking about Indeed right now, but again, this isn't uh, Indeed's fault necessarily. There's all types of reasons that these things could happen. Actually, Indeed, you could do something wrong. Like I know of a company that they had their whole HR team, they were uh, setting up their own Indeed accounts and, and reaching out to people, and that's a, a direct violation of Indeed, and, and that company was blacklisted. So there's things like that that could happen. You know, there's people that have huge YouTube audiences and they get suspended. 
you know, I'm in, in Winnipeg and I know lots of uh, local makers here where they've had their Instagram accounts uh, hacked. So these, these things all can happen. So really keep that in mind. I know it doesn't seem like it when you're operating on a day-to-day -day basis, but really these things can happen at a moment's notice, right? And, and they're always very, very difficult to be able to sort out. And sometimes you just have to scrap it and, and start over, which isn't great. Okay, so those stories really shed the light on the importance of what I'm talking about here today. And I do have, again, a couple points that I want to be able to share out. But the first point is don't put all of your eggs in one basket. This is a really, really important thing. It's great if you have one channel that's hyper performing, but again, it could be turned off at any time. Keep this saying in mind, you know, don't build your house on rented land. And keep in mind, you know, if you're on Indeed, you're on Facebook, you're on YouTube, you're, you're on Google, these are all lands that are owned by other people, right? They, they're not our properties, they're, they're somebody else's, and we're building our homes on unrented land. But make sure, again, that you are very diversified and you have lots of channels channels that are operating, right? So in a case where if Indeed gets turned off, you can ramp up Facebook, ramp up Indeed, ramp up something else. Uh, again, you're you're in a lot uh, better position and you're in a position of strength in, in that case, right? Rather than uh, weakness. You know, don't share passwords. Make sure you have a modern password keeper and you don't want your staff emailing, you know, Instagram passwords, Indeed passwords, back and forth, those sorts of things. Make sure that two-factor authorization is on your account as well. I do really Realize, you know, like we manage a whole bunch of different accounts. It is a pain when every time we're going to a different client's account that we have to go through the two-factor. But if that's uh, the pain that we have to pay to not have to deal with something for two weeks, like in this uh, company's uh, situation I'm, I'm telling you about, that is a small price to pay and I gladly would pay it every day to be able to keep that account uh, secure. Maybe just a, a final point is, you know, teach your staff to be on the lookout for scams and, and hackers. If something comes in, like 200 emails come in, in within a half an hour, totally strange emails um, where you're being signed up for all these newsletters. Make sure people are on alert right away to be able to notify you know, the leaders in the business and, and the IT or systems team and that they're not clicking on all of these different links or trying to unsubscribe because they, they didn't, right? Again, these hackers are incredibly crafty. You know, this company that, that had this situation that happened to them, they, they were by, by no means the, the only one. So keep that in mind, okay? So again, it's sort of a, a long uh, video here today, but I did want to actually share some stories and, and add some context but really the the short story to this again is make sure that you are operating on many channels so you are in a position of strength and that you're not held hostage because your your one and only channel for attracting drivers is cut off. I'd love to hear from you. If you have uh, similar stories in your business or other businesses that you know of, please let me know about that. And also if you have other uh, you know, stories and anecdotes you can share about working with different channels uh, and which channels you like best, whether you find more drivers on Facebook or through YouTube ads, you know, through something like an Indeed or a Craigslist or Kijiji in Canada, I'd love to hear about that in the comments as well. Thank you very much for uh, watching. I wish you all the best. Onward and upward. Thank you.